we'll tear on the case. Stars in good hands. Hey, but I'm sorry, there's someone at the door. Let me know if there's anything else I can do, and, uh, well, tell my little buddy I hope he feels better. You know how much I care about Sam. Um, I'll call you back. I'm sorry, is it a different Sam? What's gotcha. up? Um, May yeah, I? Okay, uh, I just, um, I wanted to make sure you were all right. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Uh, I don't know, I was worried that Jason might have killed you. Jason was pretty intense when he showed up. I know he said that he wasn't here to talk about me, but I was... He wasn't. Okay, then why did he come to see you? This. A bug? You had Jason bugged? No, it's... I already told you, I don't care about Jason. This is about Sonny. Right. Your big investigation with Sonny. I wasn't surprised he found it, all right? I was... I was expecting it. Okay, well then, why'd you leave it there? I want to send a message. I want Sonny to know I'm not backing off this time. Backing off of what? Uh, look, I know you're here to take down Sonny, but... I mean, may I ask why? Sam, it's kind of a long story. What? Are you afraid I'm going to tell Jason? Because that's not really an issue right now. You know we're barely even speaking. I'm sorry, you deserve better. Look, it is what it is. I just want you to know that just because Jason works for Sonny, it doesn't mean that he's an accomplice in every crime that he commits. No, I never said that he was. You know, at one point, I halfway wanted Sonny to be found guilty for causing that accident. I don't like the way you think. No, it's very selfish. I thought maybe if... Jason wasn't working for Sonny, then we could start a new life together for the baby. But Sonny was acquitted, and the baby is an ours, so... Very smooth, Lieutenant. What? You just managed to avoid answering any questions about yourself. Did I? So this issue with Sonny, it's an old FBI thing? Sonny hurt someone I cared about. A woman? I have limited time here to investigate, and it's running out. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not leaving here empty-handed. I'm surprised for details about your past with Sonny. Just promise me that the investigation's not going to end up with bullets flying all over the place, because I think we've had enough of no, that lately. Note to self, no bullets flying. Whoa! Hey, what? What is it, you okay? Uh, yeah! Oh my goodness, yes. I think the baby's doing somersaults <laughs> or something. <laughs> wow, that's the strangest feeling. Whew. That's amazing. Wow. I should be sharing moments like this with Jason. You know, we were supposed to start childbirth classes. Great. I think I'm going to have to ask my mother to be a coach. That's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of. Yeah. Mom. Oh, hi, Molly. Uh, no, um, Jason and I, we really don't have any big plans for tonight, but you know I'm not big on birthdays. I think I'm going to just probably chill out. No, 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 no. Tonight is not a good night to step over. Why don't we just schedule for another time, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you, too. <laughs> Bye. Happy birthday. Doesn't know that I moved out. And I don't think my mom wanted to upset her. Molly worries about you. Well, Molly thinks of Jason and my relationship as this big fairy tale romance. And she is so, so, so excited about this baby. She's a little sister. Yes. Your mom probably didn't tell her because she's hoping you and Jason will work these things out. You're probably right. Yeah. But one thing is true, that I am absolutely not a big birthday fan at all. I wasn't lying to Molly about that. You're not a fan of cakes and funny hats? No. No? Uh -uh, no, and Molly right. wanted to bring something over, of course, and I didn't have the heart to tell her that this is probably going to be the worst birthday of my life. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Hey, good thing. You're alive. Sam? Wait. Uh-uh. You, you sure you're not peeking? Uh, yes, I promise. Okay. All right, hold out your hand. Which one? 
I'll take this one. Okay. You ready? Uh-huh. Okay, don't look. I'm not. You sure you're ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Open your eyes. Okay. Oh! Wow! Yeah. Hmm. Everybody should have something to unwrap on their birthday. I guess so. It was either soap or a pack of gum, and I'd already opened the gum myself. Thank you. It's perfect. I've got to at least smell it. Mmm. Mmm. It's French. Yeah. <laughs> I just, uh... I wish this could wash away all the bad things that have happened. That would be nice. Well, you know a birthday is a good day to start looking ahead to the future, to... to happiness. All right. Thanks. I think I actually needed to be reminded of that. We all do. Yeah. Yep. Better tell me where you were. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had company. Yes, I do. It's nice to see you as well. Sam Morgan, Terry Delgado. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. You and your husband must be very excited. Yeah, the same must be uh, for, for you and yours. Um, unfortunately, my husband passed away recently, which is why I'm here. Did you know that Todd is in town? You two obviously need to talk. I'll get going. It was very nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Um, thank you again for the gift. The real gift is I didn't sing. <laughs> Todd came back. It's only gonna make things worse. Yep. Last time he was here, he pulled a gun on Sonny Corinthos. He threatened to kill him. Where do you think Star got the idea? It doesn't matter where Star got the idea. She's the only one facing the consequences. How bad is it? I'm pretty sure I can get her off. Todd doesn't ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> 